Hello there. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in this video, we are to look at the accounting equation, whereby we are going to look at a typical examination question on accounting equation. So uh, we know that at the accounting equation uh, uh, is assets uh, is equal to our owner's equity uh, plus our liabilities. So uh, basically, this is our accounting equation. Uh, whereby we have uh, two sides uh, that explains assets. Uh, we have got the side of assets and also we have got the side that we have our orders equity plus our liabilities. So it means that both sides uh, should be equal. So uh, basically, this is uh, what we have. So uh, we are going to see that uh, we are going to look at financial uh, transactions, whereby uh, each transaction, obviously, uh, according to the double entry principle, uh, it has to affect two accounts. So uh, the two accounts that are affected by each transaction, after they are adjusted on the account equation, the account equation uh, should uh, remain balancing. Remaining balancing, meaning uh, the side of the assets uh, total should be equal to the total that we have for owners equity plus our liabilities. So uh, what we are saying is uh, if we have got a transaction that is affecting assets and owners equity, uh, you'd see that uh, if we have a plus on our assets uh, or owners equity, it should also indicate a plus. So in this scenario, after you have effected the financial uh, transaction, uh, you ask uh, the, the two totals should be equal. That is the total of assets and the total of orders limited uh, and liabilities should remain equal. So uh, uh, it also means the same thing. Uh, if uh, the financial transaction is affected assets and orders equity, and we have a minus on the side of our assets, it should be also a minus uh, on the side of orders, uh, orders uh, equity. So that uh, the balance remains uh, the same. And then, uh, for example, we've got a, a transaction again, which is going to affect owner's equity plus uh, owner's equity and liability. So it means uh, it's affecting only one side. So in that case, uh, it's, we are going to see opposite sides. If uh, a transaction is affecting one side, for example, it's affecting owner's equity uh, and liability, it should be a minus of liability. So that uh, the uh, total that we have uh, on that uh, right hand side will be equal to uh, the total that is, is, is on the uh, left hand side. Remember, when you say plus and you say minus, it means that uh, it goes back to the same position. So basically, that's what we have. And also, uh, if we have a scenario whereby uh, it's the the transaction, uh, the two entries that we have uh, are affecting uh, assets only. So it means that uh, if we have a plus, uh, the other account should show a minus. So so that uh, the set for assets, uh, the total does not change. So we take note of that. So the same applies if the transaction is affecting assets and liabilities. Uh, we also have uh, uh, the same sign. Uh, that is, uh, if it's a plus on assets, it should be plus also on liabilities because they are on opposite sides. So basically, this is uh, the scenario that we have on the accounting question. So we're going to look at the transaction uh, that we are having here, uh, whereby uh, we have a question uh, which is uh, indicate which are, uh, which accounts will be debited and which are to be credited, and the effects to start with the first one, which is a stationary on hand at the end of the year. So uh, the first step is for you to identify the two accounts involved. So we have uh, to identify uh, the uh, two accounts involved. Then we, after identifying the two accounts, you're supposed to uh, identify which one is going to be debited, which one uh, is going to be credited. Remember, according to the account, uh, to the uh, double entry principle, uh, every debit entry is going to correspond to credit entry. It means if uh, one of the accounts is debited, the other one is going to be credited. And the opposite is true. That is, uh, if one of it, one of the accounts is credited, the other one will be a debited. So that basically that's the scenario that we have. So in this uh, transaction that we are having, uh, we are going to see that uh, we have got a stationary uh, on the hand at the end of the day, which means we've got a stationary amount uh, that is transferred from the stationary account uh, to the consumable stores on the hand. So the two accounts involved, uh, we have a stationary. That are involved, we've got stationary, we've got consumable stores on the hand. So uh, which one is going to be debited, which one is going to be credited, is now uh, the, next, the next task that we have to do. So uh, on stationary, remember, when we buy stationary, we debit stationary account. So when we are transferring uh, the amount of stationary, it means we are not crediting stationary account, and then we transfer it to the consumable stores on the end, where it's going to be part of our closing store. So uh, we are saying uh, the account that has to be uh, debited is consumable stores. And then uh, the uh, one that is going to be credited is stationary.
So uh, after you've identified the two accounts, you identified which one is to be debited, which one is, is to be credited. I also uh, try to see uh, which uh, each each account you try to identify uh, where it belongs according to the account equation. Remember, in the account equation, we have got our assets, all of the three uh, uh, components that uh, the uh, entry uh, belong to. So for example, we have got stationary, where is it a uh, belong to? Remember, stationary is, is regarded as an expense whereby it's adjusted in the uh, in the profit and loss account under less expenses according to stationary that has been used during the period. So uh, uh, when it's uh, entered in, in the uh, profit and loss account, it means it's going to affect our net profit, uh, which of which our net profit is supposed to be transferred to owner's equity. So uh, basically, we are saying uh, stationary will affect owner's equity. So our uh, uh, by crediting now, we try to see uh, what uh, how is it affecting the owner's equity. So uh, we can take note that our stationery is an expense. So we can just say expense account. So uh, when we have an expense account, whenever we debit, we debit it. Uh, its effect on the uh, on owner's equity. When we debit an expense account, it will be uh, a negative. On the uh on the owner's equity uh, balance. So when we credit it, it should indicate a plus. So in this case, it means that we're going to have a plus on a plus on owner's equity. Uh, so the hands uh is a is part of our inventory. So uh, an inventory is uh is a current asset, and we know that uh when uh we are regarding our assets. So uh, for our assets, we also have to take note that uh, when we take with our assets, the effect on the account equation is that it's a plus. But when we credit our assets, it indicates a, a minus. So in this case, we are debited. So it means it's a plus. So we are just saying uh, it's a plus on uh, it's a plus on assets. So basically, that's, that's how we're going to uh, indicate our account equation. So uh, we go there and uh, we indicate it as such in our other section, whereby this is going to be our other section. Whereby uh, this is going to be transaction number one, whereby we are debited consumable stores and yields. And then we are crediting stationary. Then we have identified that our uh, bonus equity is a plus, and uh, on asset section, it's also a plus. And uh, there's no effect on our uh, liability. So according to the instruction of the question, I say, uh, uh, since we do not have anything on the part of our uh, works, uh, no effect on our uh, liabilities. So uh, this is uh, what we have. I will try to move on to the next transaction. So the next transaction is advertising paid in advance. So obviously, you're going to see that we have got advertising as an expense. Uh, we, we can also try to refer back there, whereby on this transaction, we are seeing we have got advertising. So we are saying uh, we have got advertising. And then the other account that is involved is, uh, is advertising are paid in advance. So obviously, uh, if it's in advance, it's a prepayment that has been made. So you put a prepaid expense because advertising is an expense. So when it's paid in advance, it's because you are in prepaid expense. So this is the other account that we have is prepaid expense. So uh, in this scenario now, uh, we can now be able to see which one is going to be debited, which one is going to be credited. So advertising, uh, remember, uh, when it's now Regarding as a prepayment, uh, we are supposed to credit it. Remember, uh, we we are we debit advertising as an expense. So we, when we have paid more uh, than what is supposed to be paid for the current period, that's a prepayment. Uh, we have a, a a big amount on the debit side. So we are supposed to uh, credit our advertising, and then we we debit our prepaid expense. So we are saying this one uh, is a credit. The prepaid expense is an asset. I remember, uh, it, we are supposed to debit it. So, uh, in terms of the effect on the accounting question, and uh, that is uh, whether the 
entries affecting all assets or owners equity or liabilities. Advertising is an expense and if it's an expense, it's charged in the profit and loss account and uh, it reduces the net profit. So it means it's going to affect our owner's equity since profit is part of uh, the owner's equity calculation. So uh, we can also try to understand how uh, uh, how advertising as an expense affects uh, the uh, owner's equity. Remember to calculate uh, the owner's equity balance, uh, that is the closing uh, owner's equity balance. Closing owner's equity balance. Of calculating the owners, the closing owners equity balance by saying the opening owners equity balance, we end the net profit, we subtract joints, then find the closing owners equity balance. So anything that increases our net profit will also increase our owners equity, and anything will reduce the owners equity balance. So in this case, we put advertising as an expense, uh, and uh, when we have when we have advertising, it means it's supposed to reduce the net profit balance when you debit it. Uh, like this, when you take it uh, as an expense, it, it reduces uh, the net profit balance and also reduces the owner's equity balance. But when we are trading it now, it's not the opposite. It's now increasing uh, the uh, net profit balance, which is also going to uh, increase uh, the owner's equity balance. So basically, that's what we have seen. Uh, we are saying credit is a plus. So uh, basically, that's what we are. So uh, we are saying advertising here is uh, owner's equity. It's a plus with owner's equity. The prepaid expense, it's an asset, and this is an asset and we're debiting, and we're debiting an asset, it's a plus. So it's a plus of assets. So basically, this is uh, what we have again, and we're going to summarize it in our answer section, whereby we are saying uh, this is item two. So uh, basically, this is uh, the uh, summary that we have in terms of uh, how uh, it affects the uh, the uh, the assets and all as equity. So we move on to the next part, whereby we go to our transaction number three, whereby we get writing off a data's account as irrecoverable. So whenever we write our data, we create bad debts. So uh, obviously, we have got bad debts account, and uh, we also have the debtors account. Whereby the data control, uh, and we as we write off uh, the data uh, balance. Remember, when we sell goods on credit, we deb we debit the data control. So when we are writing off, we are removing. So it's supposed to go to the credit side of the data control, and then uh, we debit the bad debts as an expense. Bad debts is an expense. So uh, that's how what we have. So we are going to uh, debit our bad debts. Then we credit the data's control. Debiting, uh, when we are debiting an expense, uh, it's a minus on uh, order's equity. So obviously, you don't have a minus on order's equity. Then by crediting data's control, data's control is asset, it's a minus. So we can take one of that. Then we go to assets section and then show a minus. So basically, this is uh, what we have in terms of uh, transaction number three. Then we can move on to transaction number four, which is its rent income was received in advance at the end of the current year in, uh, for the next financial year. Rent income is income. It's not an expense, but it's an income. So we can take note of that. So uh, and income also affects our owner's equity. So we are saying if it's an income account, uh, we should uh, know that uh, the effect on owner's equity, as we say, uh, income, we adjust incomes in the uh, profit and loss account, whereby after uh, gross profit, we add income, other income. So obviously, uh, when we are adding, it increases our net profit, which means our income also increases our owner's equity. So uh, when we are debiting, uh, the income account uh when we are debiting the income account it's it is a minus it is opposite with what we do to our expenses uh it's a minus it's a minus we do the debit side uh for our income but for expense uh the we can see that uh for income uh when we are having uh when, when we are having a a, a debit uh as our in, as our income and the effect that we have on the owner's equity, 
uh, is that uh, it indicates So uh, we are saying for an income account, if we are dead, it is a negative. When we are credit, that's when it's going to be a, uh, a positive. So uh, in this our, in our transaction, uh, we are having uh, income, credit income was received in advance. So uh, we need to find the two entries uh, that we have, uh, whereby uh, we have a credit income account. And also since we are having income that was, was received in advance, it means we've got, we got prepaid income or, or income received in advance. That's another account. So uh, for rent income, I remember uh, uh, initially uh, when we received the rent, uh, we are supposed to credit the rent income account. So when it's not received in advance, we transfer the, the, the amount that has been received in advance by uh, debiting the rent income account, and then we credit the income received in advance. So uh, these are the two entries that we have. Uh, so we can just summarize our, our transaction number four. So uh, we are saying uh, by debiting our rent income, uh, rent income, remember, it is adjusted in the property loss account. So it's going to affect our net profit, which affects our other savings. So and we know that it increases, uh, it increases our net profit if it's credited. So in this case, we are debiting. Uh, so we indicated that when we are debiting it, uh, it becomes uh, a minus. So basically, it's going to be a minus on our net profit, which is also a minus or a minus. And then the other account that we have is income received in advance. So income received in advance, it's a, it's a liability. Uh, we take note of that, it's a liability. But when it's a prepaid or uh, uh, expense paid in advance, uh, it's, it, becomes a, it becomes a current asset, an asset. Uh, but when it's income received in advance, it's the opposite, it becomes a current liability. So uh, the effect on the current liability, on the, on the liabilities is that uh, we are crediting, and we know that uh, when we have our liabilities, we can also try to uh, take note of that effect uh, on liabilities. So for liabilities, uh, if you credit them, uh, if you credit liabilities, that's where we are going to get the class. When you take it, uh, it becomes a minus. So in this case, uh, we are crediting income receipt in advance as a liability, so it's going to be a uh, it's going to be a plus. So uh, we uh, return there and see that we put a plus there. So it here, and the same applies to debt test, there's no effect on our liabilities, so it's going to be a zero. So uh, this is uh, the summary that we have in terms of the effects on the account equation and the accounts uh, that, I, that has to be uh, debited and credited. So uh, thank you for listening, and hopefully the video was helpful. And please, let's not forget to subscribe and share to our channel. Let's meet again in the next video.